when you are using uh, your emails uh, for a while, if you don't delete your emails, your server gets uh, your emails a, uh, a lot and uh, eventually it's going to be full. So um, in order to avoid um, your email inbox gets full and you don't receive any e emails, you need to re uh, move your existing emails such as old one or uh, you might want to move uh, those emails from your server to your computer. Today I'm going to show you how to do it on your uh, Macintosh Apple computers. So let's get started. So first, uh, when you open up your mail app, you're going to see something like this. If you have a multiple email uh, address, um, if you're managing a multiple email address on your uh, mail app, uh, it's going to be a little different, but you're going to see a bunch of emails. Uh, here's a button instead of mailbox. So it's going to show your mailbox over here. And if you have multiple ones, you're going to see individual emails here. So what you want to do is first, these inbox, what you're looking at is your server. If you're connecting your um, uh, internet right now. So, but you need to move some of the email listed over here to your computer. So under the mailbox, there's a smart uh, mailbox and you're going to see your email down here. So what you want to do is hit this plus sign and uh, location. You want to choose this on my Mac option. So this is um, you're making new email inbox on your application. So it's nothing to do with your server. So you might want to uh, enter your email address or whatever you want to identify. But in this, in this case, I'm going to do same email address as my real one. So uh, it's easy to see. So now it says under my Mac, on my Mac, there's a inbox. So whatever you move to this section, it's going to be stored on your computer then it's going to move from your server so go to inbox of your server and let's say go to down here your old email you choose certain range and after you select a bunch of them by the way um, if you want to select this like a multiple emails what you want to do is select where we want to start and click then you get highlighted like this the blue and you um, don't click anything else then uh, scroll your uh, inbox window with your two fingers or if you're using mouse the scroll uh, wheel and uh, hold the shift key on your com computer and uh, where you want to uh, select the range so in this case I'm going to select this range so everything between uh, the where I selected before it's gonna be selected so hold shift and click this email then everything in between is selected now is everything is blue so again do not click anything else but when you scroll down you see all the email is selected um, this is the important part you have to drag these highlighted email into on my Mac uh, icon so what you want to do is hold down your uh, mouse left key or on your trackpad hold the trackpad and move to on my Mac this account then release so you're gonna see in red circle uh, how many emails you're gonna move so if this movement is a little technical what you want to do is hold the control and the click this uh, where wherever this highlighted area then you're gonna see the options like this then what you want to do is move to then you're gonna see more options then down here it said on under on my Mac there is a email box so this way you can do that too so if you are not sure about my mouse uh, maneuver uh, with the uh, 
a drag and drop, you can do this way. So then over here, when you click uh, left click or uh, tap your, uh, click your uh, mouse pad, and it's gonna move everything. So it just moved. So now if you click uh, this email address, the, in the mailbox under on my Mac, you're gonna see all the moved emails. Um, if you choose just a couple of emails, it's gonna happen instantly. But if you have like hundreds and thousands of emails, it's gonna take a while. So if you wanna um, know how you, your email is moving or not, what you wanna do is go to the window and go to activity. When you open up activi activities, you can see there's a little um, pop-up window. Then when you move something, you can see the progress bar over here. So again, if you use just a couple emails, it's gonna happen just instantly, so you don't see anything. But uh, if you have a large amount of emails, you can um, see the progress. So you know something is working in uh, behind uh, your application. So while you're moving emails, you can use um, all your app, anything you want. So uh, you don't have to worry about it. Sometimes after you move your emails, still emails is left on the server. So we have to make sure uh, whatever the emails already moved has to be cleared from the server. What do you want to do is go to um, this inbox. And this is the, uh, the origin of the uh, email, right? That means your uh, email server, what you're looking at. So uh, hold the control key and the click over here. Then you're gonna see this option. Then choose erase deleted items. So this ensures whatever you moved is clear. So erase. So now it's working on it, then done, right? So now whatever you already moved to over here the, on my Mac, it's cleared from the uh, your server. If you still have a problem with it, you might want to contact your web, uh, web server. That's how you can manage your inbox uh, capacity. And that's it. And uh, if you have questions, uh, please let me know. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.